That I don't close back up. Y'all ain't seen it. Man, got a few. They got a few people off in there. Man, Kunda couldn't tell you done stab the nigga all over in Africa. Man, they done got this stuff. Huh? He running all around with a scarf on his head. Now, it's not this, this. I can't. Wait. Huh? Is T.I. now? I don't know. I think T.I. got locked up on Ritz. I think he got to shoot at a concert or something. That's Ritz right there, ain't it? But man, that whole thing, that just throw me I, When they got on that boat ride, right, it just messed me up the whole thing. I was trying to figure out, who is that nigga right? He's stabbing. I ain't never heard no story of Kuta couldn't take stabbing nobody. Now, Allie Haley died before he started lying. That's what they did at first. They, he lied when he wrote the story. Then the next nigga got they done lied. They on that thing singing that stuff, man. That all the art box stuff on the boat. I was, oh my darn goodness. I thought I, I cut my teeth out. I said, the FBI gonna come up here. Hey, hey, ho, hey. I said, oh, oh, cut that junk down. All the I said, oh, goodness. The neighbor mess around here, this stuff, he gonna be in trouble. Man, that Bittler got on a suit, walking around like them, got one of them wigs. Man, I said, now, where the hell a nigga in the field wearing white folk clothes? This story looked like Uncle Ruckus telling it. <laughs> now when Coot escaped this time, now you remember the original Roots, he escaped, he was on the back of the wagon. Y'all remember he snuck? Now the nigga done stole a horse, can't nobody ride. Nobody can ride that horse. Coot said, Coot can ride. Coot done jumped on the white horse and took off riding like the wind. Now some folk ch dog chasing, get what he do. Get off the horse and start running. <laughs> Where the nigga out run a horse? I said, this nigga should have got caught. Phil got to find where the white man slave mouth, one of the slave beat, folk that whooped the slave now, done got on top of the white man. And the other white folk just standing around. I said, I can't watch this right. This done fiction. No good done. Where that nigga been shot? I'd have shot him. Get yourself out of that clean white man. What you doing, nigga? I said, you see me, master? <laughs> I said, yeah, man, yeah, I can't watch. I, my, we don't record it. If I watch some of that stuff, I'm going to get sick. I just can't. It's ridiculous. Leave the old rats alone. Don't make, then you don't change the whole story. Now, Kunta got captured. You remember, he probably got captured. He was out hunting. Now he got captured because he done got to fight with some nigga and stabbed him. Then he done took all running. They trying to kill him. They got him to the ground. Tell him, no, let's do this. Let's sell him to the white man. I said, here we go. I can't watch this foolishness. Then the couldn't the tell they got the nigga look like he on been on a Latin. <laughs> Please don't watch it, y'all. I just make you sick. <laughs> if you don't, anybody don't seen the original Ritz? Yeah. Wait, just go look at this one and see, don't it make you sick? It, you, it's hard to follow the storyline. Now he got a girlfriend. Now that woman, Fanta, y'all remember Fanta? Now that was a girl he just met one time. Now this is old lady. This is old lady on the boat this time. Now he done jumped on the boat. He done took over with the boat, about to take the boat over. I said, this nigga, I can't, I can't watch no more of this. I cut the nigga foot off my done self. They should have cut the nigga off at the hip, Dave. Watching that movie? Goodness, I said, made me sick. I couldn't hardly sleep at night when I seen that thing. You know what I'm saying? I'm more worried about what the niggas were doing than I worried about the white folk. <laughs> Goodness, nigga walk around with white folk clothes, Fiddler got a wig on. I said, I don't believe it. When they show Fiddler getting the fight, then he told the white man, I don't want to be like you, Fiddler. The one jumped around that time of how good he had it. So, you know, get a nigga finna mess this up. Master, give me a little hot tart. I walk around on Pond Wood Flow. This good living for a nigga. Now he done jumped up, fought the, the man that whooped the slave. White folk just sit around licking. Fella done got on top of him. Finna yoke that joker. Snatch the week. I don't never want to be like you. I said, what kind of nigga mess is this? They ain't do all this in the right to King March. 1700, you on top of a white man? I'm just there. I'm trying to figure out who let them sell this stuff to TV. So I just stay with the other one. On the other roots, I don't like it, the one with the Christmas tail. I couldn't watch that one. Last thing I want to see is a nigga out there in Christmas. What a, what a nigga want to see a white man bring him anything out of here and got him whooped and burned up and beaten on a slave trade in a suit and a, no. That's the last thing we want to see. I don't know how they play with Christmas today. The way we've been treated, that's a lot of things we shouldn't even be playing with. Y'all know that?
Y'all all right? Yes, sir. I watched some of the stuff that go on with us. They had to wait on the good, clean, white America to come along, and they judge it to rule whether something can be done. Why is it that we the only people say I'm waiting for these people to pay a legislation? Wait on them to rule whether or not somebody can be prosecuted or not. Once something been done and we've been wrong, you can't wait on the same people that victimize you to come along to vindicate you. That's crazy. That's crazy. An uprising and doing America. Y'all all right? I mean, justly. If you get the Negro mind away from being so afraid of going to jail when you don't realize you're already in jail. We already been taken over. That's the sad part. They can't, we the only race, you can't do anything else to us that had already put us in the lowest state. They just give it, we got these monkey suits on walking around and these people disrespect us. They got more care for Herbermes, that gorilla, what's his name? Harbaba, who? Yeah, Rilla. I just called him Rilla. Rilla got shot, they concerned, black woman going to jail. I just asked them, I wish they had that same care for us. That's right. I wish they had that same care for us. Yeah. Everybody trying to say, you know what's amazing though? How everybody jump around interpreting what the gorilla was going to do and what the gorilla was doing. Why you can't interpret what we doing? Yeah. Minding my own doing business. Yeah. Ain't bothering you. Why nobody don't interpret tape mother before they shoot us? Right. He a gorilla. Hold on for a minute. The gorilla pulled his pants up. Hold on. The gorilla is only trying to protect him. Let me tell you something. That gorilla grabbed that child because that gorilla was showing y'all Ownership. Yep. In the wild, you take is yours, you defend. Yep. Now, all this stuff y'all come up in y'all little mind about he was just gonna protect that boy, that little boy wasn't going nowhere. Nope. Nope. And he wasn't gonna let nobody take that little boy from him either. Nope. Y'all get this out your mind trying this this is a wild animal. Yeah. Who should have been freed? That's the yep. first problem. Yep. Who should be arrested is the people that captured him. Yep. Who should be arrested is the people that jailed him. Yep. The people that shot him should be arrested for the crime. There would have been no shooting had he never been captured. That little boy, if the mother been raised and been sat in the congregation, would have been no need for that child to follow no gorilla enclosure. I sat up here and I got my kid sitting up here on a rail and gorilla enclosure. This don't make sense in the first place. I know it's science saying keep off. Which part you didn't get, nigga? But that's our women. Now they finna prosecute them. Who they need to prosecute is her mother. See, I'm, I'm a little different than other people. Let's go back and get the source of the problem. See, if there was somebody that had trained her properly on the care of a mother and a woman, the responsibility of a woman and a mother, see, I can stop this whole thing. It, it go deeper than let's go shoot the gorilla, kill who got the gorilla killed. Let's get who captured the gorilla. Let's go get why she wasn't a fit mother. So you start going back over this, now we find where your problem at. They don't nobody think like that, though, Liam. Come on, TV, and somebody talk about that. So I told you before I see way further than mother. See that thing? Because she's only one of how many of these mothers. Every time you look at the news, what did you find? Some woman that left her kid in the car. They had a father here in Atlanta who left his kid in the car while he was at work with the windows rolled up. And he wanted to get some mercy. I immersed that nigga. I immersed the tie over this nigga head. Why would I take my kid to work, leave my kid in the car with the one? I told y'all before, some of y'all in here, well, see people need some IEP. Because yeah. once you put in your mind, go to work, leave the kid in the car with the one that's rolled up, first leave the kid in the car. Let's start him. Right. Let's go with why am I taking the kid to work? Is the kid going in with me to work? Right. Do I work at a company that allow me to bring my child to work? No, my company, don't live. I know what I do. Leave the kid in the car. While I'm inside working a hot car and the kid died, I don't see no mercy. But you know what happened though? The truth be told, had somebody did their job along the way, had you had more pastors like me, somebody seen this joker need an IEP test. Yeah. Yeah. I told you, some of y'all in here need it. I know some of y'all need it. And you're going to get it too. Yeah. I'm going to say y'all, I'm going to say these kids. I'm, I'm telling you, let me tell you something. I told y'all. Mental disease is a real serious illness. And the reason why we have a lot of mental disease for the simple fact, just like you found with homosexuality, for the, sec, for the fact that people don't like to retain all of him in their knowledge. Yeah. You know what he do, Miko? He give them up. He give you up. Let you go on out there and dishonor yourself. Let you go on out there and make a mess and you see when you made a mess out of yourself. Then you'll come back and see. That's why it behooves us to make sure we keep a stable mind to stay with the truth. Because once you're gone from the truth, you'll do anything. Yeah. Yeah. Cuff told us that it was better not to know this way than to know it and turn from it. 
It's better for you not to know that. Well, it's bad to sit here and hear this and you ignore it because you do what you want to do. This is destruction for us. When you see all these things going, you know what I had to look? I had to look at the bigger picture. What's going on with our women? What's going on? I mean, I address this all the time, on camera and off camera. How a mother should function in her capacity. The care a woman should. How many times I tell you about Ariel? Ariel. You know what Ariel is? In a sense, Ariel is a single mother. To the fact that she never looks for that man, that male cub to sit there and to nurture and to take care of. She look at his only part going to be for defense. You know what they're doing here? They don't sit around, where the man, what the man do? And the lion cub still wind up turning out right. She looks at any nurture, any care going to be from her. Once a kill is made, you know what she's going to do? She's going back and bring the cubs to the feed. Huh, she's going to make sure they can eat. She's going to train them. She'll let them sit back and watch her something on the hunt. So they can see this is going to eventually become your responsibility. Survival will become your, but at this point, rest assured, I'm here in defense for you. Y'all yeah. got me? Yeah. And I sit here and I watch out how non-caring, non-responsible you guys are so you can sit in front of that TV, so you can run in the down street, so you can put on some whole juice and do everything other than functioning. This is your responsibility. But nobody talk about that. We losing the nation. Go look at these young boys out here getting killed in the street. Go find out how many don't come from a two-parent home. If I were the police, I'd shoot some of these niggas. I got a gun on. Some things just teach you some things. The man got a gun. I see a man with a gun on. You know what don't come to my mind? Let me walk up and call him a mother blank and tell him he a punk nigga and take his gun off. For what I read there, that don't never enter my mind. You know what enter my mind? That nigga got a gun. He can wind up shooting me. Mother blank, what's up, nigga? What you? I'm the police. I'll shoot you. I see you had to have something. Because I know they never enter my mind to go and try to attack somebody with a gun. What's my defense? I don't have nothing but my mouth. Yeah. It's because, you know what happened? We as parents, we allow our kids to get mouth and fly out, have no respect, so they run out here and they put themselves in a situation. This is a dangerous world we live in out here. This is a thing. You got to deal with not only the whites, the Asians, the, the, the Hispanics, every race out here. You got to deal with your own. Waiting to murder you and gun you down because everybody's afraid of you. Then why won't we teach our, our kids to have a little more social morality, a little more self-respect? It was one time a kid had respect. You see somebody, yes, ma'am, no, ma'am, yes, sir. Huh? What? Hey, we done lost it. We've lost it. And out here, if you're going to survive, it's certain things you got to learn. Even in the animal kingdom, even a lion know when you got to bow down and give up. Even in the animal kingdom, it's other animals out here that's on the tent. Realize, it's some fights you can't win. And you know that you bow gracefully. You'll see some cat there drop that tail because I don't even want you to think I'm trying to defend against you. I already know I ain't going to win. If it's two lions and one young, he already know. If it's going to be anything to keep him from getting killed, go ahead and bow down and tuck your tail. Because you keep it up and growling, I'm going to take you out because you're saying you're ready. But see, we sit here in a society that we ain't teaching our kids how to survive. We ain't got no love for one another. The woman ain't got no love for a husband, for a kid. And the man ain't got no love and no care when it comes to their wife and their family. We got a lot of social here. That problem, what happened in that gorilla cave, start with the Negro nation. It started with us. The Negro man will go to work, get his check, and for whatever reason, he will not budget the common done sense of a human being to say, I have a family and responsibility to take care of. I got him in him. That's dangerous. That's dangerous. Listen, there's nothing else come up more important than my family when it comes down when I get my check looking at responsibility what I have to do. Take care of my home. I keep that practice. Once I get my check, my check going to the bank, I'm going to cash my check, I'm going home. At some point, I'm going to sit down in front of that computer, I'm going to pay all my responsibility. Because you know why? People counting on me. I ain't going to go, oh. That'd be all right. Cut out no There ain't no threat yet. That's some nigga stuff. Yeah. I, this ain't nobody had to teach me that. This just if you care. Right. If you care, then you understand there's people counting on you. But you sit here and the people make them. It just, it ain't there. There's some other stuff I would do. I'm trying to do something. Ain't nothing you can do when you're outside. Yeah. When you got a family, people counting on you. 
We got to get our men to become men and we got to get our women to function as wives and mothers. We got to teach our men the care it takes for them to stand and to be a husband. We lost that. We've lost it. It's just bad. Just some of the stuff you guys do. I'm telling you, you can, the education level of the Negro today is great, fantastic. You're a lot more literate than you are illiterate, according to them. Don't ask me now. But according to them, you're a lot more literate than you were illiterate. I beg to differ. But according to them, I give you that. Isn't that right? Because you can't argue everything the white system give you. But when you sit down and look at how you function from a biblical standpoint, you're very much illiterate. You're very much illiterate. You take too many chances, too many gambles, especially when your soul on the line. I would never want to put my wife through the stress, through the worry, through the heartache of warning how we going to do something, what she can do to try to jump in or to do, especially when I have the ability to do, especially when it's my responsibility to do. I wouldn't want that on my wife. I went because the book told me to get honored to the weaker vessel. That's how I'm always, I ain't going to never honor my wife at that nigga. My nigga. I ain't gonna honor like that. I ain't gonna walk up. We don't walk up to your punch. How you said open chest? Cause I ain't gonna do that. First of all, I ain't got no business to healing like that. Second of all, she the weaker vessel. Right. See, everything taught to say something weaker, you don't put the most on that. Right. And then at the same time, you said, well, since you ain't do as much as I do, you don't get the same. Then he said, as heirs together yeah. of the grace of life. Yeah. Meaning we still gonna share what we get. Y'all hear that? The weak of Elsa. Then they said, why am I have my wife stretched out big? I tell her, son, I ain't gonna have my wife doing. My wife come to camp too many times. She get money for camp. I don't why I can't have my wife in the book. I just use it for her. Hypothetical. These guys don't be looking at that. No. I got to be, I want to be hers. And I hear uh, Sarah, she obeyed Abraham. You know what she called him? She called him Allahim. With me, he provided. Huh? She looked at him. I mean, he earned that. Abraham was a fighter. You think he let somebody came out like I'm a Christian? I remember a Christian preacher one time he told her years ago, he used to get on folk by talking about trying to fight. He said, fella came one time and said, beat his wife up. He said, I ain't do nothing. You know what I said? Because you're a sister. Once a nigga do like this, you shall die. You shall die. Even if you don't change your mind, I don't even want you to live to find out. That's my wife. I, ain't, I can't let you get beat my wife. I'm standing now. I ain't never had that kind of Jesus. I wanted to live right too. I always wanted to live right, mother. I ain't never got that kind. I ain't never get that kind of Jesus. Right. Geno Jenna had it. He let somebody come in there and beat his wife or slap his wife. But see, folk don't realize. I only read another wife, another woman come here and beat my wife up because I've been sleeping with that helper. Yeah. Ain't no woman I had said ain't had no set. We're gonna come and tell my wife. And if I had had said, well, she'd be so far in the hell, she ain't trying to fight nobody. She just said, glory! Glory! I've been taken to a mustard gun world. She'd be so happy that the mustard gun done took her so high. <laughs> Isn't that right? <laughs> Man, please, that's crazy. Beat my wife up. Mm -mm. I couldn't even imagine that. That ain't even a nightmare. I, listen, I go to sleep sitting there and I say, this ain't even a real nightmare. I get my gun and go back in my sleep, put my bosom, wake up my gun, start killing everybody in my dream. That's crazy. But a man got nothing to provide and take care of his house. If he went and he killed a foe for messing with Luke, what you think gonna do somebody hit their wife? What you think gonna do? That's his nephew. He don't cut the food for nephew. What you think somebody beat their wife? Hey, I can't do nothing, I'm a Christian. What he goes, I am a Christian. No, no, no. Kill you too, nigga. You ain't hurt. Y'all all right? Amen. They don't like thinking about stuff like that, do they? Yeah. Man, don't call up the children of Abraham. Right. How you gonna call me the children of Abraham? Abraham, I ain't got none of his traits. Yeah. None of his traits. They don't like, they don't like thinking about stuff like that, do they? That thing tight, but it's right. It's strong, but it ain't wrong. Y'all all right? Amen. Goodness, I've been trying to get y'all to teach y'all how to be good, wholesome women. Isn't that right? That's so important for our women to just try to regain back your self-respect. I mean, it's people out here that shame I mean, it ain't all of you. But there are women out here making a mess out of being a, being a woman of Allahim. Y'all got me? They're making a mess out of just, just the whole thing. Just, it's just a bad showing. So it behooves us for our women to go and try to show themselves and prove themselves to show. I'm doing what the book say. 
taking care of my home, providing for my kids, looking out for the safety and welfare of my kids for my home, showing the respect and honor due to my husband, and them do for the man to do the same thing. Our men looking back, what they're saying, all nigga want to do is steal, get drunk, get high. It behooved me to give them and show something different. Tell how sorry, man. I heard of folks growing up, how many of y'all thought of grew up, they were bad when they came to paying bills or being responsible? Any of y'all came out of that kind of stuff? See what I'm saying? So it like coming on for me, I got to show something different. Y'all hear me? I mean, that's all. It been my. I want. I want to be different. I like most people. I want. I don't know. I'm the same way. My mom. My mom's a gang hoe. I'm a gang hoe. No, ain't no. I want to do that. Some of y'all the same thing. I mean, it bad. Some people. You can. You. You have the ability to choose what you want to do. When I say that, everybody has seen some bad forms of how things are done, from rearing, from working, whatever. You made choices. At some point, you got to want to see the better for yourself and what you got that's coming behind you. I got something coming behind me. I want to show them something different. Huh? So I'm a responsible man, a dignified man, a man that cares. Y'all know? I mean, it take, we got to do that. We got to come back and restore something. We can't keep going out like some of y'all keep using. What you I got them out of my dad, my step dad ain't showing my step mama. So you had one. Well, step on up then. Huh? You had a step mama. Didn't nigga step up? Yo, who should have a stepdaddy? Why he ain't jump around that time? Well, he ain't my real dad. He my stepdad. I ain't going to be able to work there. Try to owe my joke. Ah, he done made him blind him. <laughs> well, they call my father. My real father went in the home. Y'all quit using this old nigga stuff. <laughs> Man came out to do the work and testified testify concerning his father. He done to my father work. He said, I do what? I do the same thing. He had a natural father, too. Y'all sat around here, some stuff y'all do, just stop it. His natural father came on and took on a son and grabbed him in just like he was here. Well, that's what he did to you, nigga. He grabbed at you and he told you, hit a two man. Why were you just looking at all of him and not looking at his natural father? That doesn't make sense. His natural father was a provider. Man sat there and showed mercy. They don't know nothing about that. He was going to pull away. Huh? But what he thought him because the Lord told him to kill him. The truth been told, he could have killed you. They don't know nothing about it. They don't think about that. Every time I tell you, y'all don't know nothing about it, man. You just think you know. That's why you're him. Ain't that right? That's why you're him. Don't make no fool out like yourself. Take your time, folks. I said it because our sisters got to learn how to function. You got to learn how, to, how you operate inside of a home. You have those children, you are the first nurturer and care of that child, which means what you see these ch children demonstrate out here, I got to look at you. Now I got to look at that man. Look at how that man in that home operate. They got quiet now. Ain't they? Yeah. I look at that man. I got to look at how that man operate in that home. What that man putting down. It can't have all that going on. It, it got to be what I'm, we got two ways they're going to work now. We're going to do this the way I'm going to tell you to do it, or we're going to do it to outside the home. Because we're not finna be doing no power struggle. It's not good. It's not going to be good. He done tried. We done saw that when it was in Jerusalem. It didn't work. It Power struggling didn't work for him. And you know what he looked at? I could leave, but I think it'd be best if you go. Yeah. All of him reminded me of Henry Gray. You know, one time he was sitting in the house. He'd come home. Every day he'd come home work. Same time. About 5, 10, 5, 50, he'd come down and he'd walk with his lunch box. Two sounds you take to work. he eat one and get the other one to the dog. As soon as he walked through the house, he walked through there. Old Miss Sam throw the He ain't going to eat but one. Throw the oven to the dog, come back, sit down. He gonna pop that, he gonna, get, he gonna open the refrigerator and drink out the water jug. I just look, I be like, all I gotta drink out that water jug. <laughs> and we ain't never had nothing but a milk. He get fill up milk car. Y'all been on milk jug. I don't know why, man. I ain't know, when I went to four houses and I seen them things, I was saying, man, where they getting that water? I'm old pretty devil. <laughs> our milk jug. Folk come to my house and get some water. I said, you gonna be drinking out of my dad? <laughs> we have family stuff, people come. Everybody how I drink. So one cup ain't new to me. We had one jug. See, I always see he had some spirituality then. He go in there, he popped that cat over there, cause all over too short. He popped that cat in and turned that gin up, smell that, that sequin gin, put it back up. Out of while, that jug got that smile on his face. <laughs> then he said, I started looking at everybody, he started talking to himself. He told her one day, he said, Send them kids to the country. So I'm going to burn the house down and kill the dog. All I had to go. I'm going to send them straight to the country. You know what Allahim did? He sent everybody out of any kid and he burned Jerusalem down. 
He was sick of it. He had no, he sat around and started looking at everything was going, looking at everybody. He just said, send them to the car, I'm going to burn the house down and kill the dog. So you start looking at these things and how we operate, then we got to change what we're doing. I'm being honest. Y'all know it's a lot of little foolish junk going on. Y'all, let me tell you what y'all couple. Y'all think y'all be fooling me. Y'all be sitting here and be talking then and be doing little stuff. Try to giggle to get all that. I know y'all got some old nigga stuff going on. All that stuff coming out, y'all got to put your foot down and be men. Yeah. In the book saying, bend and be men. Right. I'm saying, be men. You got to look at this stuff. When it comes to what we're doing, just like Newark did, who know what he did? He did what? He built the house, an uh, ark for the saving of his house. That's all I'm trying to do. Everything you're supposed to be building, putting up, it's supposed to be for your house. Yeah. When I walk out here and I make decisions, a business move, whatever I do, I'm trying to save my home. Yeah. That's what he was looking at. Man sat here building, he was trying to save his home, Dave. What y'all trying to do? Sometimes these women, I don't think he ain't got y'all talking to that. Pastor already be talking to that. I look at it like that. If your behavior conducive to doing what's right, you ain't got to worry about no whole lot of hollering. And fussing. But I tell you what, a lot of this junk got to be cut off. Y'all got too much going on. They too loose. They got too much going on and too much talking. At some point, you got to cut that stuff out and start looking at the safety of your kids and how your house is ran. Because all of us going to give account for what we're doing now. Yeah. That book, give me that book. Let me talk to you folks. Yeah, they ain't going to listen to me. They hear that book, though. You don't hear that book. You hear that book, you don't burn in hell. Right. Some stuff, I ain't nowhere in the world I play. No, I don't, I don't, some stuff, I don't even play it. Impossible. I just said, I know a whole lot of folks, you ain't got to talk to me like that. You know what I learned? I had a guy one time years ago, a younger preacher. He told me his wife telling him about it. She ain't like it. Tell me tell him to shut up. You know what he told her? So I wouldn't tell you to shut up if you weren't talking. I said, that made a whole, that's what he told her. Oh, what you tell? He said, you weren't talking. I wouldn't tell you to shut up. I said, he right too. That being honest, now I tell y'all, I mean, look, we show love and we want to treat your wife right. I ain't tell nobody mistreat the wife. I know some nigga, he going to, you're going to mess up something. At the same time, you got to know how you got to operate. So I got a yellow girl, so I can't have all that stuff. I can't do all that old knife pudding talk. My yellow, she'll think the white part of her rouse her up in there and think she'd be smarter than me. You know, got, got that little collet. So I better shut all that down real quick. Start using that little good verbiage. Go correct the word I've been saying. Then I've been lost it. So she tried to say, did you mean to say something? I said, ho, ho, nigga. No, they ain't correct to me. I said, don't let the white man make a fool out of you. That way you got to pull up your roots. Go ahead and get your, oh, 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 oh. put your kunta kunte up. Now, let them beat you start correct. That, that be a little sly way like I got one in. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I get through beating her. She ain't going to go tell her, he still didn't get my cornbread. <laughs> <laughs> Hit her behind and tell you, shut up. I know good and doing well, I got that cornbread. Yeah, right. And that's what we got to do. Oh, my cotton, my cotton ball fell on. Kunda Kunda Kunta picked this and ain't want to lose it. Goodness. But we got to get ourselves back to our functioning. Y'all hear me? Yeah. 